Hey guys, welcome back to Surviving Mars! We're currently on the green planet, as is, we are running through a mist at the time a mysterious mirage is causing us some troubles we've been having flashbacks I'm calling them flashbacks though no one has actually confirmed this flashbacks to the past of Mars's past yes indeed and reliving the world that they have been living what is going on here we've got this has been building has turned off why I'm not sure why that was the case um, ah that's why this oh Oh, this doesn't have a deposit. That's why I turned it off. All right, well let's blow, blow this up. We have some 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 troubles. Not not particularly hard troubles, but some troubles. You can see here we are producing less metal than we are eating. We are consuming 13, let's call it 14 metals, whatever tick this is, uh, and only making 20, which is a little bit of a shame, little bit of a shame. As you can see, we are starting to run out quite badly of the various places to actually mine metal from, so we need to try and keep on top of uh, that. We do have a few places on the go, but need to be expanding out all the time. Also, we have water going down here. We've got a whole bunch of new anomalies down here. Let's start by doing some of these, shall we? I think that's probably a good shout and get underway here. Uh, uh, everything else seems to be doing all right. We've got a surplus of polymers, surplus of electronics, surplus of machine parts, surplus of fuel. And literally the only thing that seems to be... Ooh. Food, food production, 8. Food consumption, 27. That's quite a difference of numbers there. Perhaps somewhere we could make ourselves a nice little farming zone. I'm not sure where this is going to happen though. Perhaps up here. We do have a farm on the go. Just making... No, I want it to be making soya beans. That was quite a few other things here to look though. Uh, we can see that we are producing some oxygen from all of these. That's quite alright. There's a bit of decrease in soils for some of these. Quinoa kind of looking alright. Um, wheat's looking good. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the soya beans for now. You can see we've got a 50% um, soil quality, so we want to try and drop that down. Uh, and these guys over here, are they literally just... Well, there's a bunch of kids here. Let, let's have a look at that. We, we don't want a bunch of kids there. No, let's age group children. No, thank you. If you could... I'm not, not, not too bothered about the youth. But the actual children themselves... Uh, oh, which I need to apply this, don't I? This is always a step that I forget about right here. Okay, application has been done. Uh, we've got to make sure that all our children end up here. Uh, maybe we're going to move this machines part factory. But as you can see, we're, we're, we're a bit short of children here. So if we could do this, that would be pretty good. Let's just click this, have a look at what we're filtering by here. Age groups, children plus. Okay, so that should be fine. We shouldn't have any other domes with children in it at all. Let's just go around and have a look. Age groups, yeah, so this one is filtered already. That's pretty good. Uh, down this way, is this one already filtered? So we should have literally just filtered this one. Children's not coming out that way. And then this one over here should hopefully be the same. And that should mean that... No, okay. And that should now mean that all our children are going to school. That that's that's what this this place here is working up for. All our children going to school. Okay, so we have got ourselves a little bit of a lack of. Oh, can can this reach over here? This can reach over here. I was about to say a complete lack of um, rare metals. Rare metals, is the word I'm looking for. But we can actually put this right here. Too far from working working drone commander. That is a little un. Fortunate. We should have a beagle over here, though, that can come along and make this work. And then we have the rare metals extractor, and we'll just put that there, and we'll wait for the beagle to turn up. Where, wherever the beagle is, actually. Beagle is over here right now. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Uh, if pipe leaks happen down here, we'll have to try and figure something out. Where is my other guy, Spirit? Spirit might have been the person to move there, actually. Let's, uh, let's move Spirit over there. Let's take Beagle back to where we were because this this is an area that needs needs protection needs to be able to keep the uh, the pipes flowing the water moving that is what this is all about okay so i'm going to go around i'm going to do a few uh, things here try and figure out what the next thing i need to do is uh, I, i've got a feeling it's to find metals that is our Anomaly next thing analyzed. it looks like our little curiosity driver here has got the uh, the upgrade that enables it to not use any battery power so we're just going to go around literally just going to go around and uh, pick up all the anomalies. I'm not going to get these 
give yourself science point anomalies. Not not to begin with. Not until I've unlocked everything. I think that's the way that I'm going to do this. Go from key to key. Uh, just making sure that I can see everything that is available on the table. Eventually we're going to end up in a little bit of trouble. Oh look, there's a, an actual thing on the go there. We'll have to figure that out. That's like a, an event, if you will. Right, so that guy's done. Let's, let's go for the event. Let's go for the event. I would really like that. Uh, we have just also ended the mystery. Let's have a look at the history of logs here. Dreamers reported they saw dreams that alien cow giving a speech, uh, having followed the discussion of the gathering. Uh, just the commander retold. It's apparent that all dreamers have been witnessing events that have happened elsewhere. Okay, that's cool. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. How are we doing on the metals now? The metals consumption is still through the roof, and I'm not sure what is consuming metals. I'm going to assume that it is... What's the word I'm looking for here? My machine parts consumption. Okay, so I'm looking down here. This might be the next place we stick a Resources a are low. Yeah, metals. Metals are our problem here. I might even ship out for some goods. That might be our the explorer way forward. just got into a pretty serious accident. The good news is, it's still in one piece. Oh man, it has been uh, malfunctioned and needs to be repaired. The vehicle stumbled upon a crust fault which could have lasted for a couple hundred years under the slow erosion of the planet. Disturbed by the mechanical motion of the scanning probes, the surface opened like a wound and swallowed the rover. Luckily, only for a dozen of me dozens of meters. The steady machine got out of the hole, but nevertheless, it sustained heavy damage. Millions of years ago, Mars has been shaken to its core, core by a cataclysmic impact, which sealed the fate of the planet. Since then, Mars, like all giants, is dying, too slow for our mortal eyes to witness. Yet even today, the death tolls of the red planet can be felt. Okay, I mean, like that's that's pretty cool, but um, he's out in the middle of nowhere. Beagle, my friend, come, come and rescue him. Come and rescue him. Some good materials to be got around here. I'm really just trying to find somewhere where the density of metal is pretty high, but it's all so far apart from each other. It, it kind of has to be this one kind of has to be this one. Uh, how are we doing on the tunnels? Are these all built? They are all built. Okay, so I wouldn't mind getting another tunnel going from here, maybe up to there. I don't know if that's a builder or not. Um, let, let's see if we can do that from here. Oh yeah, we'll put that over there. We, that should be within a drone hub or something like that. Yeah, room to be got there. That's pretty good. Uh, how are we going to connect this and that? I can see exactly how we're going to connect this and that. We're going to go from here to here. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then at the same time, going to have ourselves a power line. Uh, up, across, and over that way. That should make things work out pretty well. Like, Buildings have been depleted. Okay, that's cool. No deposit. Let's get rid of that. Is there still... There's 15 around somewhere. Is, I mean, like, are they all there? Is it literally all there? Um, let's try and salvage some more stuff. I don't know why the, uh, the, the complete and utter utilisation of this concrete patch is important to me. But it is. It's really important to me, and I'd like to get it sorted. Okay, let's turn this around. The 15, right? Available resource 12, 7... Uh, is that is where it there's the 10 look at that there's 10 of it and um, the 15 is going to be hard to find that's 13 of 10 okay so that's that's got to be the majority of it up there right we know that and then the other one hmm, it's going to be something around here right if we do that that's 1.2 that's probably the maximum we can get uh, and then there's going to be something else somewhere Okay, let's let's put these down. Where's the 1.2? There's the 1.2. Right, we'll get those and we'll figure out where we can get the rest later. Bit of a waste of machine parts. I understand this, but I'm uh, relatively rich in machine parts right now, so I'm not that bothered. It's metals that bothers me. Okay, Curiosity been saved by Beagle here. That's pretty awesome. Let's just pause this game to send Beagle up there and then we can get Curiosity again anywhere else we want them to search. Yeah, that thing over there. I can't believe that anomaly just absolutely messed me up. I mean, I can I can believe it. That That is a thing that happens quite often. Uh, click, 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 click. Yeah, we'll, we'll tidy up this corner here uh, for the anomalies. I think that's probably the way we're going to do this here. Let's have a look at our research here. The tree is pretty wide open. Definitely things to be searched up here. Like, what is this? Medical uh, microgravity medicine. So that's a spire for the inside. Okay, that's pretty cool. A medical spire. And we've got loads of stuff around now that we uh, want to check out. I mean, like including the oval dome that needs to be got at some point. 
Colonist gained 20% performance during night. So, okay, that's pretty cool. Not exactly what we're after. Um, yeah, well, we'll let this play through. You can see we've got resilient out architecture, same the out of dome buildings, get a maintenance boost, uh, something to stop the, the meteors. I think that would be cool. Uh, improve the power of our uh, solar panels and, of course, nano re refinement, which uh, lets you pick from... from uh, deposits before they've been worn out, so that's that's pretty cool. Get get low level deposits going down, uh, which will mean that this would be the place we want these things. Okay, so what's missing here? Of course, it is machine parts and concrete, but things should be getting flown in via the power, yes, of the shuttles here. So that's going to be good. I'll I'll bring you back when it's ready when we're ready to go again. Anomaly analyzed. Anomaly analyzed. Looks like we finally did it. That concrete patch appears to have disappeared. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's clear all this lot out. Um, no no reason for doing that. It's just now we've got this nice big empty area here. What are we going to do with it? I don't know. Uh, we do have all these sterling generators, so maybe we'll make this like literally just a sterling or an area. That could be a thing for us there. The building will demolish in four seconds to one a zero brilliant salvage that and we should be a happy set of peeps here let's uh, break these back down that that this okay cool and let's go see what's going on with that dome down here or at least rather this uh tunnel so we've got all the machine parts all the metals we're just about to tick over on the concrete here okay let's have a look so we can make a drone hub down this way and that will cover just about everything we need uh, let's zoom out and see what we got yeah some something like that will probably work out well I'm not sure where we're gonna get the uh, the liquids from but to double uh, to, to double down, make sure that we're getting things going well. I'm going to put an oxygen store over here, and then we're going to put a water tower over here. I like to put it this way round so that we can see the um, the indicator on the side there. Now, we've got to have a better type of dome somewhere, right? No, we probably do. We probably do. Uh, so, mega... <laughs> I've got them all available to be researched, but none of them actually being done. So, that that's an interesting thing. Green is a back, so that's going to mean a strange times are abound. What are these? Are they... Are they over full of fuel? Do I have a fuel depot somewhere? Is that a thing? I should imagine that I would have put fuel next to all the hubs, but uh turns out, no. There's lots of extra oxygen there. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's looking good. It's looking good. This is not getting made, though. Where, where's the spirit probe? Hello, there you are. Uh, does not appear to have a universal storage anywhere close by. That's um, it's not amazing. I'd like to get this built, if at all possible. Is these guys actually turning over as well? They are. All right, this is going to be just literally an electronics factory here. That's nice. Uh, we've got the, got the mine there and the mine here. They're going to work well together. Okay, speaking of working well together, over this side I need to put down a universal depot. We're going to put that down uh, behind the dome there, uh, behind the drone center there. We're going to get some power running from here up to there. That should work that all out. And then we're going to take Spirit, who I, I know I was going to try and make get the mining section going, working up here. But as we've got a rare mine going there, I think we can wait this out. Oh, look, we've got this guy open. Well, it should be fine. We're right next to the polymer polymer production so I see no problems here what I am seeing is a problem with the lack of a rover though he should be coming along at any moment malfunctioning pipes let's just make sure there's nowhere that I care about okay uh, mystery is being worked over I've got some buildings that are unused okay your storage space is full that's fine your storage space is full and you are also full okay that's that's fine uh, metals is a problem that's also fine malfunctioning cables you can get fixed right you're you're within hmm okay all right let's see if we can do something about that i would like to pull the power down across here and then salvage this one and that should make that work a little bit better hopefully uh leave us open to less recurring problems at least right have Oh yeah, there we go. All right, cool. That's that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to put down a little dome right about here. Uh, wait, I've got to make sure that I'm close enough to both these. I've got a lapse deposit. Whatever, buddy. Uh, 
close enough to both of these mining sites to be able to get put my two mines down that's pretty cool production here metals extractor on this side requires deposit metal extractor on this side okay got those running down we get need to get some power cables running now i would ideally have liked to have not gone all the way around like that but will make do uh, and then over this side got a similar situation power cable from here up to there okay that's cool now we just gotta wait just gotta wait do i want to call in a, a group of people do we need more geologists let's have a look passenger rocket we got we got a whole bunch of people here uh let's just review i don't really care for what they are we'll take a non-specialization that's pretty good not as fussed about the uh the officer engineers are always good scientists not fussed no specialist. I'm really looking for a geologist, if I'm to be honest with you. Geologists and botanists, maybe. Uh, engineers definitely are the things that I'm after here. Ge geologists, botanists, a couple more engineers. We've got a slightly larger off... Um, no, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, that's the thing. Uh, that, that, that. I mean, do I care that much for botanists? I oh, know we've got we've got a full thing. Yeah, launch anyway. That's, that's fine. Uh, hopefully, this is going to get high priority there. Uh, and we can end up having somewhere for people to move to. At the same token, I might start putting people here. Um, unemployed and homeless. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fine, I suppose. Wait, we've got unemployed people over here. Aren't you the geology? Unemployed, five. We have a food shortage. Mm, we can open up another another um, shift there. That's going to be pretty cool. So food shortage, though, is a problem. So let's try and do another farm here if we can. That probably would have worked out better. Now, let's have a look here. Are these all no specializations? All right, let's let's get rid of those and let's make this actually what we're going to do with them. We're going we're gonna to get some farming going on. Soybeans all the way through. Obviously, it's the only way to live. Bam, new farm. A full of people already. That's pretty good. We're going to have soybeans rather than the quinoa that it was trying to grow anyway. Uh, I suppose that's good. I'm looking at the uh, oxygen production here. Look at that. Fruit trees are the ones that give you all the oxygen. That's pretty sweet. Though we're not we're not having oxygen problems, so I'm not that fussed. Uh, let's bring ourselves down a little bit of a ruke like that. I think that'll be pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's come out and have a look around. Where is Curiosity? You are a person that I want to get moving arrived. around. Oh, look at that metals right there new colonists have turned up that's pretty sound i'm happy with that uh where you're over this way i know you're over this way because we just landed you uh this should work out all right and we're getting all the fuel moving in there sweet all the food comes out the fuel goes in everything should work out pretty well here soybeans definitely getting made sweet this this place though taking its time to get together taking its time we got all the metals here so i don't see why anything else ah okay so metals are actually all right it's the machine parts that we are lagging on we can live with that though we can live also polymers maybe we need another polymer outpost mm, could probably see that happening as well uh curiosity let's keep you a rolling gotta go, go up this side wondering if we are ever going to clear all the anomalies uh, that would be pretty cool that would be pretty cool We've just found Beagle 2, or at least what's left of it. No, 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 this, this guy's Beagle 2 down here, you can't say that. Over the course of two-thirds, uh, over the years, over two-thirds of the missions sent to Mars ended in disaster. The tragic course of events attributed to bad luck, human error, or simply the inability of uh, inevitability of shooting blind in the dark had created a dark humour revolving around the great galactic ghoul, which feeds on the exploration probes and the mysterious of the Martian Triangle. One of the best equipped mis probe missions to the Mars was the Beagle 2, which failed dramatically in the last minutes before landing. Dramatically, its, it, it's solar panel didn't unflow. That's not dramatic. Failed by the uh, failed by the parachutes and the treacherous Martian atmosphere, the brave little probe crashed at fatally high speeds against the red... No, 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 no. This is not how it worked. Like, the, there's, like, stories online about how it got found and stuff. Oh, anyway, 10% uh, boost to robotics. Um, that's, that's good, actually. 10% boost to robotics. That means all of these are going to be, like, even cheaper. Yeah, look at that. So this one's, like, 5,000. This is 5,700. That's uh, quite quite the discount. Anomaly Barely landed. Already, already possible to take off. That's, that's awesome. Uh, still got low metals. Yeah, that, that metals is a little bit... A little bit weak there. But we're now producing 28 and only consuming 14. So I suppose we'll be... All right, that food production's still a bit of a problem here. Uh, how are we doing? We've still got 
10 unemployed and 10 homeless. Okay, let's try and deal with that before this mystery starts. I'm going to put another um, apartment Bedlam down. Burns with the fires of the revolution. Over the course of weeks, the peaceful protests have sparked into riots and the inadequate attempts of the authorities to suppress them has caused violent surges from the crowd. Citizens from all ranks of society storm the barricades and burn down government buildings. You walk undisturbed amongst the chaos. The people view you as a prophet of the end of times. No one dares raise their hand against you. When the crowd sees you, it parts to let you through. Everyone is waiting for the truth to flow from your mouth. You hadn't asked for this. You only hope that when the authority in Bedlam is toppled that the people listen to you once more and prepare to face the more difficult times ahead. This is what fills your mind as you walk the dusty, debris-covered streets. You turn the corner to find a man bumping into you, flustered. He falls back into the dirt. His uniform catches your eye. He is one of the enforcers of the authority. He frantically crawls back and reaches for his gun. That's when the angry mob appears. All motion stops. The officer pointing his gun at you. The crowd, even the wind. You reach out. Give me the gun, you say. Then you turn to the mob. What would the death of one man do to help you? Go back to your homes and families. There's a second of hesitation. One by one, the street empties. The officer breathes a sigh of relief. He throws the gun on the ground and looks you right in the eye for a moment. Then he gestures for you to follow him. For some reason, you know he's not a threat. You don't need tele telepathy to tell you it either. You're a cow, right? The ex-watcher? No, you're going to get get a kick out of this. You're the only one of those nut jobs who know how to use it. Come on. He leads you to a bunker. The guards are long gone, fled by the crowd. The officer opens the blast door and motions towards the entrance. The authority installed this thing a while back. Doesn't mean a thing to me anymore. I got my life. That's all that counts. The device is unfathomably complex. Its true purpose, lurking behind a sinister aura, you give your old scientist buddies a ring and decide to get, give the old bones a rest while you wait. You aren't young anymore. Even in your mid-40s, your body wasn't genetically designed to live to old age. Nevertheless, you've lived a full life. The sun sets on Bedlam. The, pal uh, the palace of the Authorarch has, taken, has been taken over by the rule of the authority. Uh, has been taken over and the rule of authority is no more. You hope that a new day will bring a new hope for survival and rebuild your tired, devastated world. This would be a monumental effort, but failure is not an option. All it takes is a helping hand. But you can save that for tomorrow. For now, you need rest. We need more dreamers. More dreamers! I mean, to be fair, all we're doing is producing trip dreamers in the child dome. We is this the child oxygen dome? Shortage. We have a water shortage. Why? It lies. It lies. It's because of this, right? And um, ah, ah, there is a small pipe problem. Okay, so we'll get this pipe. We'll go from here to here and up into that. Uh, does that actually no? This doesn't connect. But if I do that, then everything should be connected. I don't like the way that that support is right there. If I could do this slightly different, I would. But we'll just make do with that. This says it's not attached to anything. So let's uh, then do that. Does that help? Bam. Okay, so now everything should be attached to each other. These are all going around in circle. Okay, cool. Uh, we want to have an apartment up here. We also want to have an infirmary, which is in the next one. Uh, we need the infirmary, a dining place. If I could, diner, thanks. That's going to be pretty tasty. Uh, and then we have the art workshop to make people feel like they've got some luxuriousness in their life and maybe a small fountain in the middle. Okay, so that 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 is you may got you guys may have noticed my basic setup. This this is how uh, I drag the dome into basic functionality. And it should all work shortage. out. Starving. No. No, 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 no. no. All right, what's going on over here? How far off of a of a crop are you? You're getting close. You are getting No, look. There's like food everywhere. You cannot tell me that we've got starving colonists. These guys, no. Okay. That is a little bit vexing. I mean, I, I suppose what I'd like to do is get rid of this part factory place. Maybe move it down here. The part factories, uh, yeah, the machine part factory down there and then use that to make food up that end. That would probably be a lot better. Um, still got 18 starving colonists. Are they all in this dome? They are all in this dome. I don't know how to make this a higher priority to get food shipped over here. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, the machine parts factory is definitely where we're going wrong here. So let's see if we can do something about moving it 
I mean, there's just so many metals down this way. So many metals. Uh, if we put a shuttle hub here... Yeah, you guys are feeling what I'm Media feeling, right? Incoming. Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's put a shuttle hub down this way. And then they should be able to help move all the stuff back up towards this way. Uh, where we have a universal depot. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we'll put down a machine parts factory as well. Ow. Um, a machine. Stop, stop hitting meteors right next to my place, please. That would be Meteor good. Uh, we're looking for production machine parts uh, like that. Ow. Dudes, guys, seriously, what's going on here? Don't do not do this to me. Don't do this to me. Hopefully, my entire set of dudes should be coming around to fix this. Uh, resources lost, fuel exploded. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. Malfunctioning cables are there. Uh, we've got some malfunctioning pipes, but they'll go around and get fixed. Seriously, 75 starving colonists. Why, why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? 108. Do, do we just have no food up here at all? Looks like not. Okay, what I'm going to do is order in some food, and then we'll think about how we can do this better. Uh, do I want some more drones as well while I'm at it? Let's just get four drones flown in. Why not? 60 food, probably not going to be enough. We've got like 20 odd starving colonists, right? 75. Oh, man. Oh, 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 yeah, that's not going to be enough. Um, okay, this this should be fine though. We'll, we'll get enough food in for one day. But, like, why is this not being shared around? Do I need another machine, uh, another shuttle hub up here? Is that is that actually what needs to happen? Because there is a lot of food here. A lot of food. Is this the bad place to keep the machine hub? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, storage is... We're going to put a metals depot opposite the, uh, the the shuttle hub here. It's going to take a while for this stuff to get moved down by the looks of it. But that's, that's fine. That's fine. What about this? Can we up the priority of this? I would really like this to get done as quick as possible. And then what we'll do is we'll move all the people from the uh, child dome over here out. Um... I mean, I suppose really what we want to do is age group starts start voting down the people that are older here, um, and then we can like clear this place out. We've got a polymer factory there. We don't need more engineers down here, really, do we? No, I, I, th I think not. I think not. Um, I really want that food to get moved, though. Really want that food to get moved. We are only a few minutes away from the next food delivery, though, so I suppose we'll be all right. Uh, don't don't auto save just so I'm doing stuff. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, so I'm going to go to the map again. We've got no. Well, there's a couple of anomalies up there, but this is the closest one that I want to get to. I think. Let's do that. Okay, food coming in. I'm just going to drop it. Uh, yeah, yep, that, that looks good for me. That looks good for me. That should work out and hopefully get ourselves a bit more food underway. Go, go, go. Yeah, oh, wow. Look look at the, the flurry of activity. But that should stop people starving, hopefully. 42, 41. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know how far down it's going to go. Is anybody here like uh, in there is also starving? But that that's okay. That's okay. Do we need literally a a food dome like an entire dome given Research over just to make food anomaly analyzed that, that could be a thing could be a thing right we got our missile uh, a meteor defense system that's pretty good let's start thinking about where we can throw that up uh, i'm a little worried about the power consumption 10 let's have a look at what we've got surplus of 72 okay so like the first place one needs to go down is obviously here um yeah, like that. That that will work out for me. Uh, then we should be able to put down another one somewhere like here, which should hopefully cover the majority of the places that I'm looking at saving. Actually, maybe that one. Yeah, that one. Much better. Much better. Uh, I, I have the power for seven, but I don't think I'm going to put an entire seven down. That also looks good over there. This is a place that needs to get sorted out at some point. This obviously a good area to pop down like so. Yep, yeah, that's looking good. And then finally, last one down here. And that should do Resources us for our low. defenses. What is uh, metals? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to have people working on that. Um, this could really be doing with getting fixed though. If we get a few more people in as sharpish, we can get an entire colony down. Uh, you are already ready for takeoff and you've opened, emptied your food out already. That's that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look here. What's going on? All right, nice. Has, has the food just like completely disappeared already? It pretty much has. 
pretty much had. Okay, so we're going to have to take you off. Go. Be gone with you. Uh, we've got another farm being dealt with down here. So that should be pretty good. That's fully stocked. This is fully stocked. This is fully... Wow, are we like a fully stocked dome here? I, th I think we might be. I think we might be. Okay, this, this is a good place. Working over pretty well. If we could open up another shift, yes we can, I will be a happy bunny there. Uh, unemployed, two. Two unemployed. So let's have a look and see what we can do. Let's, uh, let's open up somewhere for tomorrow, or at least like for the middle of the night. Let's actually have a look over here. No. Do we have a polymer factory down here? We don't, but I don't think we need it. Ah, okay. Finally, we've got some people moving in over here. Yes, indeed. Though, this does not appear to be filtered for age. So let's get that going. Thanks very much. Get out of here so that we can keep our farms going. Have we got more dreamers? Maybe. Maybe we got more dreamers. So I noticed in a new save that I've done, uh, that I'm not able to put all three traits down as the same trait anymore. Uh, so that that may be a thing that, you know, we're hacking by using an old save here. Who knows? The vast majority of the anomalies I have left now Resources are these are ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that my, uh, my, my metal factory is... Uh, not my metal factory, my metal production is a little bit low. So what I'm doing now is going around doing all the low-level ones. I suppose this one would have been pretty good as well. Just to start sweeping through and making sure that I've got everything. I mean, really, right now, what I'm looking for... Oh, wow, we are literally all the way down to the end. Uh, so we just got to go through and unlock everything. But what is the thing in particular that I'm looking for? looking for right now rare metal extractors production increased by 50 percent okay metal and concrete there's there's a lot of good stuff here that i'm really gonna have to start figuring out which order i want them in uh, i'm particularly looking for deep metal so you can see this uncovers an extremely rich underground metal deposit we're talking literally tens of thousands there but i don't have the technology to extract deep metal so that that's also going to be pretty awkward Okay, so I think the time has finally come to salvage this metal part here. Hopefully everyone will work up, walk over here, um, come and work over here. Let's open up another... Resources are low. Yeah, another, another um, shift for working there. We're getting lots of resources are low, but I'm not that bothered. So we're going to destroy this one. So it's not that we are short of food. Let's have a look here. The fact that we've got lots of food coming in, we're... Um, Oh, we're a little bit short, but not not massively. The problem is distribution. You can see that we've got all this food over here. I think there's a similar amount somewhere else as well. So we need to uh, think about how we're going to move them around. And the way I'm going to do that is by making this into a farm down here. I mean, ideally, we should actually just make that another living space and just move kids in. But I think this is going to have to be a way of doing this here. Right, how long is this going to take to put together? We're already at four bits of concrete. Oh, yeah, look at that. Almost instant build. I like that. Uh, and we're going to put this on soya beans. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's sort out... I was going to say let's sort out this dome and figure out where we can put people that we don't want. But honestly, I mean, like, we can kick the seniors out and see what happens, right? Maybe, maybe what we'll end up with is um, more intense concentration concentration of children here that that would be pretty good not that we're seeing many children not that we're seeing many children i'm just going to assume they're getting turned over pretty nicely though and got a starving colonist right next to the farm so we're just gonna have to wait for this guy to produce some food thankfully it's not too far away it's only uh let's have a look three souls so that should not be it too hard at all let's just wait it out and see what happens and i think that'll probably do us then i think it probably will curiosity here going around it's saying it's going to unlock new tech i want to tell complete. i want to see what there yeah, high percent oh there research complete that was not what i wanted wait we'll go back um anomaly analyzed game no no it didn't give me what i was expecting it to give me let's let's try this again let's go to that key because the key unlocks more of your tech tree. But as you can see, I've already got the tech tree all the way unlocked. So I'd like to know what happens when we do this anomaly. So let's let's just watch. Watch for a few seconds, shall we? It's going to definitely fill up all the way across the bar here. Um, do we get any... any um, 
research or do we get any exposure? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen Anomaly here. Analyzed. Oh, look, we got 1,250. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. The, going around collecting these is definitely the way to uh, get all these researches finished. Look at that. We're going to get the, uh, the nano refinement breakthrough finished pretty quickly. I mean, that is 14,000. Mm, it's quite a lot, so we'll see how that goes there. But, you know, all of these anomalies to be found. Gonna get something good. Okay, so the new dome is very much producing metals. We're not at full work shifts yet, but that's okay. Very shortly, I'm sure we will be un inundated with people. I'm being told that I've got a couple of homeless people here. This guy can't even be moved. I'm, I'm not even sure. Spirit Martian. That, that, what a name. What a name. I'm assuming that's because he's moved on yet. In fact, no more homeless. Uh, we, we have got people full on working here. That's pretty good. That is actually very good. Starting to think that these farms are actually synced up with the uh, the length of the Martian day. Uh, you can see that time until next half is zero. I've got a feeling this is going to fill up. Oh no! All right, okay. I, I appear to be mistaken. I was going to say I've got a feeling this is going to fill up just as we tick over the day, but no, no, we have not. We are in fact just about to produce the smallest amount of food. It's not ticking up anymore. Why not? I've noticed that the ground's turned green, and I kind of wanted to do this before we finished. Yes, indeed, that is food produced. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to find out why we're going all green. We're going to go around and collect up all the anomalies. We're going to make sure that our metals are continuing on and hopefully gonna find ourselves in the end game but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye